And with the 16th pick in the 2024 NBA Draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select Jared McCain from Duke University. Jared McCain, his mantra has been, I'm going to make it for Jace, for his brother who had blood clots in high school, and McCain says it's not just his dream, but our dream, him and his brothers, to make it to the NBA. Richard, this is what you were talking about. It's everyone, an entire family getting drafted. And Jace was a grad assistant at Duke, so he was able to watch film and rebound for McCain. But Jace, he says, is his biggest inspiration. I had the pleasure to meet him when he was still a senior in high school. I did a project with him and Juju Watkins. And from that moment, I have followed him at Duke. He just has an energy about him, a smile. He, there are certain people that when they get on the court, you watch, when you think about Tyrese Halliburton, when Tyrese Halliburton is on the court, he looks like a guy that you want to play with. Jared McCain, say what you want about the TikTok, the 2.7 million followers. He's got a million more than I do. I'm trying to get my followers 2 .8 up. 2.8 now. Yeah, 2.8 <laughs> now. It's going to just go up higher. But there are just certain players that when you watch them play and you see the energy that they bring to the game and just to life, you're like, I want that player on my team. I want that player in my locker room. Jay Billis is such an interesting experience. Not only have you seen him play, but you also got a manicure with Jared McCain. He says he's not really superstitious, but he played well after getting a manicure the first time. You see his nails painted black for this occasion, and he just kept doing it. So you had to get in on that French tip action. Yeah, I mean, that, that really does sound inappropriate, but <laughs> I did get my nails painted with Jared McCain, and he's a, he's a, a terrific young man. But the stuff that he's got going on off the court, you might question with another player, but with him, he's such a dedicated worker and such a tough competitor. And that's one of the things that stands out is he's really tough. Uh, he's a, an outstanding shooter, shot 41% from three, makes almost 90% of his free throws. I mean, he's had some great games this last year, put up 35 on the road against Florida State in the NCAA tournament, hit eight threes against James Madison. And he, he's competitive. Competitive. He gets to the glass. Even though he's an undersized guard, he goes to the glass, averages over five rebounds to, per game. He competes on the defensive end. He's not a big-time athlete. He's not explosive, and he's not big. But he can really knock down shots. And, and he plays a physical brand of basketball as well. There, there's a ton to like about Jared McCain. You just wish he were bigger. He sets his feet quickly. He has a high release. He might redefine a toughness in Philly. Don't let the nail painting fool you. He, he might have grown men painting their nails in the city. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know tough. if Philly's going to start painting. He, Philly's not going to start doing this. But it's I will late. say we'll this. See. He knows that people are going to try him. He has seen that, and he has met that talent. That's why he's here and today. now he's with our Monica McNutt. I'm really looking forward to this show. We have not just Jared, but also Jace. You said you wanted to get drafted for your brother. The moment is here. How are you feeling? There's no words to describe it. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. And I have no words. Jace, this guy dedicating this moment and this path and this push to you and being inspired by you, how does that make you feel? It means everything to me, man. He works so damn hard for this. And I'm just blessed to be a part of this journey. And it's such a big part of my purpose as a person, so it's everything to me. Now, much has been made of your 2 million plus TikTok following, right? But now you're starting your NBA career, and I'm sure that's something that you will share with those that are rooting for you. But what will they see of Jared McCain, the NBA player? Just somebody who wants to achieve any goal he sets out to, um, a hard worker. Um, I'm going to do anything I can to, to bring home a championship, bring home just wins in general. I'm just... I'm so happy to be here, man. It's a great moment. Jared, congratulations. Jace, congratulations. You guys enjoy it. Monica, thank you. Just what a tremendous moment for the whole family. He is really, Jared McCain, into yoga, meditation, journaling. He credits the book, The Inner Game of Tennis, for his mental approach to the game here. And, Jay, you touched on it. I mean, he really had a coming out party in the tournament, those two 30-point games. 32nd pick in the 2024 NBA draft, the Utah Jazz select... Kyle Filipowski from Duke University. Kyle Filipowski out of Duke.
He comes from really a family of basketball players. Both of his parents played college basketball. His dad, David, at Slippery Rock in Pennsylvania, and his mom, Rebecca, played at Long Beach State. Let's learn a little bit more here about Kyle Filipowski. Someone who can do a little bit of everything, handle, shoot, pass, um, you know, can play multiple positions. Whatever the coach needs me to do, I'll do it. You know, just love making plays for others. I modeled my game after Lori Marketing and Nikola Jokic a little bit. Just, you know, the size and speed of Lori with the IQ of Jokic, I think that's what makes me me. Heading for the lane on the spin. Hit me! He hit the shot! The spin move. I've always been taller than other guys, and I got used to guards cutting me off when I dribble the ball real quick just because they're smaller and quicker. So I kind of just learned over time that the spin move came natural. A good way to get around the defender, get to the hoop. So that's kind of been my go-to ever since I was a kid. Jonathan, tell us a little bit more about his game here. Malika, every NBA team is looking for a seven-footer who can dribble, pass, and shoot. Kyle Filipowski can operate in the low post like a big man, but he can also handle the ball like a guard. He has excellent shooting range. He's versatile defensively on the perimeter. Some NBA teams uh, didn't like the fact that his wingspan was shorter than his height. They had question marks about whether he's going to guard power forwards or centers. Uh, his shooting consistency wasn't always there. But Kyle Filipowski is a very, very skilled basketball player, and I love this pick from the Utah Jazz. Yeah, John Shire said that I don't know that there's anyone like him in the country in transition. And just a fun fact that I love, he played water polo and baseball in high school. And Jason Tatum weighing in earlier, he said there's going to be a lot of teams that are going to regret passing up on flip here. He is headed to the Utah Jazz. You take a look at the Utah Jazz picks here so far over the last two days. Joining Isaiah Collier out of USC and then Cody Williams out of Colorado as well.